Good afternoon, everybody. Thanks for coming to our webinar today. I'm just going to give a couple more minutes here for more people to uh, join into the session. A um, couple of housekeeping things. Uh, if you have any questions, please drop them into the chat so that uh, we can address them at the, um, at the end of the presentation. Uh, again, this uh, is going to be recorded, so we'll put it up on our YouTube channel after the uh, presentation is done so that you can review it again or even show other people in your in your organizations. And um, I'm John Giardino. I am going to be doing the presentation today. And with me, I have Mark Corker, uh, the president of Ceradex. He's uh, the only one with his camera on. He's brave enough to uh, show his face. Good morning, everybody, or good afternoon, I guess. All right. Well, we've got a lot of bunch of people in here, so uh, we can start the show here. Um, so we've uh, we've developed an Android application over the last couple of years that uh, is uh, getting pretty good traction, and we wanted to get it out to all the rest of our customer base so that uh, you know it's available and you know what it's capable of doing. Uh, so it's called ERP Anywhere. Um, it is a mobile application that allows you to perform certain functions, um, such as receiving inventory control, shop flow execution, et cetera, et cetera, uh, utilizing a mobile application on a device uh, that's running Android. So... Uh, Mobile technology, it's going to transform the way that your shop floor and your warehouse is run. It's real time. It's simple to use, uh, error free because you're using barcodes to scan information. You're going to increase the productivity because it's happening as you're actually doing the action and allows you to go towards a paperless environment. So what devices can it run on? Well, you can go out and get yourself a, a sub $300 scanner and cell phone. That'll work. You can use a tablet or you can go to the extreme and get yourself some rugged devices, such as the one showing here on the right. Uh, that allows you to be able to uh, <laughs> drop the device from a height and have it survive. So it's up to you. You can start off with something small and inexpensive or go towards the extreme and get yourself some really rugged devices. So what do we have in the ERP Anywhere app suite? Uh, we have receiving, we have shipping, we have transfers and adjustments, container management, sorting and piece tracking, pick and pack as well as pack and ship, truck routing and proof of delivery for that delivery um, uh, experience with your customer, getting them to sign off, shop floor execution to be able to perform your shop floor data collection and workflow management to be able to track when you're supposed to do things and have reminders on when it's uh, supposed to happen. So let's talk about receiving. Uh, so a typical environment, you're at a loading dock, you have a shipment that's come in, and it looks something like this. So what are the critical starting points uh, of this process? What is affecting things by doing receiving? Well, you're going to be able to maintain your open PO information. Know what POs are open when they're received. You're going to get an accurate count on uh, the numbers of quantities that are coming in. Uh, your job and product costing is going to be uh, updated properly. Accounts payable is going to know that you've received something and they can go ahead and pay the vendor's invoice. And if necessary, vendor returns or freight damage can be associated at this point. So common issues that we receive, uh, that we see in the receiving process is wrong item numbers. Someone accidentally picks the wrong item. They fat finger in a bad quantity or a location or a unit of measure. So by utilizing barcodes, that will be all eliminated. So your physical counts and your MRP errors, they are typically due to either a bad bomb structure or you have problems in your receiving process. Plus, receipts are not entered in real time. You get the stuff come in the back door, someone goes through a receiving process, they have to sit down at a computer, and then they enter in their receipt. So it's not real time. Uh, 
plus non-compliance of lot and serial item traceability if that is in your environment uh, without having that information available uh, to be entered and when it's uh, when it's actually in front of them they may forget about it or it just doesn't get entered in at all so if you're in a lean environment and you really want to move down that corridor of uh, going lean, uh, what are four elements uh, in the receiving process that are a detriment to the lean process? Waiting. Something comes in the back door and you have to wait until someone actually sits down on a computer and enters that data. Defects. You have parts that are coming in, they're broken, they're damaged. You're not seeing that until you get to the point where someone's entering in the information at a computer. Having to move inventory from one location to another in order to do that uh, uh, transactional entry at a computer station and transportation of inventory from one location to another. Those are all going to be eliminated by hey, utilizing John. a mobile app. John, you there? Hello? Uh, yeah, so Nicole and Tom are having a little bit of trouble getting into the meeting. So um, I don't know if you wanted to wait a second to see if they can get in here. Sure. Give me a second here. There we go. We got people coming in now. All right. Uh, so continuing on here. Um so let's talk about the uh, the act of receiving information into the system utilizing the application. So we have two possibilities. We're going to receive an entire purchase order or we're going to receive bits and pieces of it. So in the case of receive all, it's suitable for if you have a high confidence in your complete PO, your vendors are known to ship complete POs error and defect free, or you're utilizing some sort of EDI ASN process uh, where you've already received all the information that's required in order for you to accept the shipment. It's not suitable in areas where you're doing partial POs. It's not good if you're doing a lot or serial tracked items. Uh, if you have trick unit of measure conversions that have to be adhered to, uh, such as I bring in a box and the box got 50 pieces in it, or with a vendor who has a track record of quality issues. But if you do have that nice streamlined purchase order receiving process where you can do a receive, ERP Anywhere is super fast. So you get a packing slip. The receiver is going to checkbox everything that they've received. They're going to put a stamp onto it, and then they're going to pull out their ERP Anywhere application and go to the receiving screen. Once they're in the receiving screen, they're going to be able to either scan or select the PO that's available for receiving. And then by scanning that, they will be able to hit a receive all button, allowing the entire purchase order to be received into the system uh, in a very quick amount of time. So I'm gonna run a quick video here showing you it. For receive all, we simply scan the purchase order number barcode, shows us the items open, select receive all and we're complete receive all seven seconds so within seven seconds you're going to be getting a receipt entered into the system whereas if you had to sit down at a computer and do this manually it's going to take you a lot longer so if you cannot do the receive all, let's say we have to do a partial receipt or I have a vendor that has a track record of not having the correct information on their packing slips, you can still use uh, the ERP Anywhere uh, receiving application for it. So if you have items that are serial tracked uh, or unit of measures are different, um, you would have to have a barcode either supplied by yourself to the vendor or the vendor would supply you with their uh, their barcodes. So I will quickly Jenna, run through a video on that. Now we'll look at item receiving. So like full receiving, we start off with by scanning the PO number. It shows us all the items. And now we individually scan each box and item on the purchase order, entering the quantity that we are receiving. 
Once we have scanned all the components and entered our quantities, we receive, and that creates the receipt in Ceridex. So still a very quick way of doing it, uh, but it's a more uh, regimented process where someone is actually going through and counting and receiving at the same time. On top of that, there are a lot of pieces of paper that come along with a receipt. Uh, there are packing slips, compliance documents, uh, maybe some lot and vendor information, uh, various other pieces of paper that you want to be able to provide to the system and allow people to see those documents um, going forward in the process to vendor invoicing or even uh, doing a purchase uh, audit. So. Various pieces of information are going to be coming along with your shipment, and by utilizing, uh, or, or by utilizing the ERP Anywhere uh, application, you'll be able to scan those in using the camera of the Android device that you're working with. So, um, also, uh, if you've encountered any freight damage, your, your product has arrived and it's got a hole in the side of the box or it's spilling out over the place, you can even take a picture of that, which uh, gives you the ability to give that information over to your vendor when you're making that claim, either with the freight company or with your vendor to replace the goods. For each receipt, there's often multiple documents that can be associated with the receipt. So in this case, once we've received the items, we select take photo and now we'll scan in purchase order, the packing slip, the bill of lading, and the certificate of origin. This digitizes all paperwork associated with the receipt for easy. Hmm. All right, um, so that's the receiving aspects of uh, the ERP Anywhere system. Now, for a movement of inventory, I need to move some inventory from one location in my warehouse to another location. Uh, you want to have real-time inventory movement visibility. If you don't have that, uh, someone is going to look in the system and they're going to think that a part is in a specific location. They go there and it's not there because no one has told the system to go ahead and move that inventory around. So by utilizing the ERP Anywhere system, you would be able to scan a barcode of the item number, and then scan a QR code, such as the one here in the bottom right-hand corner, telling it, I want to put it into location ELEC, I want to put it in rack A, and I want to put it in bin four. So by utilizing barcodes in the system, you can eliminate all the data entry issues, and you'll be able to be real time. You're gonna see the movement of inventory as it happens, as opposed to having to batch that at a later time during the day when I have time to sit down at a computer. ERP Anywhere makes transfers fast and easy. In this case, we're putting products into a rack and bin. We simply select the item we select the barcode on the rack and bin, which fills in all the information we need. We physically move the product to the rack and bin, and we repeat for the other products on our cart to put away nicely on our rack and bin. So by doing that transfer on the ERP Anywhere system, you are going to be creating that transfer in Ceradex. So you will have complete auditing of what's happened. Uh, you'll see the transfer, who made it, when they've made it, and what was transferred from one place to the next. The same goes on the inventory adjustment side. Uh, so maintaining accurate inventory on hand values is critical for the operation of your Ceradex ERP system. By utilizing the ERP Anywhere application, you'll be able to uh, have an easier physical inventory count and cycle counts. Plus, 
if a worker sees a problem with an inventory uh, quantity on hand, they'll be able to make on the fly updates. Therefore, um, correcting your system of, of discrepancies in the inventory quantities. So by having that real-time adjustment capability, you're not going to forget about it. You're not going to have to sit down at the end of the day and batch it again later. So uh, the worker notices that there are only two boxes on the shelf where the system says they're supposed to have three. They go through the process of making an inventory adjustment of minus one, allowing the system to recognize that there's now quantity two on hand, and it would then go ahead and create the adjustment for you in Saradex. For a quick adjustment, we've scanned the item, we enter minus one, create the adjustment. Total time, 12 seconds. So with the, the mobile application, you're not going to have to sit down at a computer any longer. This is going to streamline that process and give your people the ability to make those adjustments properly and quickly. All right, so inventory management, uh, there is also a container management system, but we'll, uh, we'll talk about that later. Uh, let's talk about pick and pack. So the pick and pack is an optional stage. You don't need to do this, but it is a uh, for an environment there you want to allocate your inventory prior to actually going and doing the shipment. So the items are going to be staged and you're going to be allocating them to the sales order. Uh, by allocating them to the sales order, they cannot be consumed by other orders. So this will streamline the shipment creation by the fact that since I've allocated it to the sales order, as soon as I create the shipment for it later, those allocations are going to move over to the shipment. This also prevents you shipping the wrong item because you're going to be scanning the items directly to the sales order. And the system will tell you that doesn't belong on the sales order. You should not be trying to scan that. For pick and pack, we enter our module. We wand in the sales order that we're working on. It shows us the items that we need to pick. In this case, we need to pick two Lenovo's. We wand in the item barcode. Which adds to the packing slip. We place our two items on the cart and the packing slip is created for shipment. So pick and ship is the next step after that. Or if you're not doing pick to pack, the pick and ship process will allow you to scan or pick a sales order or a previously created packing slip. And this will um, populate the shipment um, system in Saradex with the header and detail information, uh, filling it in with quantity zero to ship. Then by scanning items to increment those quantities, you'll be able to add to your packing slip. When it is completed, when you're finished doing your shipment, you can approve it directly from the app, and you can even print off the packing slip directly from within the ERP, any, uh, any ERP Anywhere application. For pick and ship, we enter the module. We select the packing slip that we're working on by wanding in the barcode. We look at what has not been picked yet. We scan an item. It updates the system. We enter a quantity. We place the item on the cart ready for shipping. And that creates our shipment. So if you take a look at the number of transactions that you're you're putting through Saradex in a manual way of having to sit down at a computer and do that, um, you're talking, you know, on average uh, between five and ten thousand receipts per year. Inventory adjustments that is going to vary based off of your organization, um, but fifteen thousand lines is not out of the question. Inventory transfers, uh, you need to move your inventory around, whether that is to a work order or whether that's in between location, rocks and bins. And you could have upwards of 100,000 different transfers going through the system. Shipments, you're doing a lot of shipments per year. Let's put a number out there of 6,000 shipments. 
that's a lot of transactions that you have to sit down at a computer to generate. If you can save 30 seconds per transaction, that's going to save you over a thousand man hours per year. And that's just uh, based off of 30 seconds saved per transaction. As you can see with the ERP Anywhere application, you're going to be saving a lot of time. And more importantly, you're going to be increasing your accuracy because you're not having to enter the stuff manually. You're using barcodes. So what kind of a benefits? Well, you can move to a paperless system or closer to it. It's extremely fast. It's simple. It's accurate. And it is real time. So uh, we are going to be having the part two of this webinar on November the 16th. And in that webinar, we will go through the proof of delivery module, container management, the shop floor execution um, suite of applications, uh, the workflow management, and uh, the time clock uh, uh, that we are going to be coming out with uh, very shortly. Uh, so uh, we hope that you'll be able to attend the, that uh, webinar on the 16th. And is there any questions in the group? Where is the chat box? Ah, and Andre, uh, item running balance. Uh, no, but you can see quantity on hand. So quantity on hand is part of when you're doing an inventory adjustment or uh, the uh, uh, inventory transfers. When you scan an item, it is going to show you directly on the screen how many pieces that you have in any location or rack or bin that you have identified in the system. For item running balance, uh, if that's something that you would like to uh, talk about as making uh, a development into the ERP Anywhere application, we can definitely do so. Uh, yes, Richard, uh, we will, uh, we're going to be putting this onto our YouTube channel so that uh, you'll be able to rewatch this recording. Um, I will send out an email to all the attendees uh, indicating the, the direct URL uh, for the video when it's uh, uploaded. It takes a little bit of time for me to convert them and get it uh, put up to the YouTube channel, uh, but um, look out for that email as well. Uh, one question that was asked me um, via voice earlier today, and um, I, I should probably talk about it, is um, what kind of infrastructure do you need to run ERP anywhere? Uh, well, uh, the Android device is up to you, which kind of Android device you want to put in place. Whether you choose the low cost option or the high cost option, that would be up to you and your expenditures. But in terms of what you need for infrastructure to run it, uh, anything that's connected to the internet. So that could be connected through your Wi-Fi in your plant, or it can be through a cellular connection even. Uh, you would be able to run your ERP Anywhere application from wherever you are in the world that has an internet connection. All right. Uh, One thing that's come up, John, can you touch on... Barcode, like obviously this needs labels. What do you have thoughts on barcode printers, barcode label printers? Uh, yeah, so barcodes is it's a basically just a font. Uh, so whether you're using code 3 of 9 or code 128, so the UPC barcode or any of the multitude of different barcode options out there, uh, label printers can be really inexpensive or really expensive depending on the volume you want to push through them so you can go out and get yourself a cheap 200 dollars uh, zebra or zebra uh, knockoff uh, that will print off a four by six label that you can slap onto the products or you can go and get yourself a really expensive data max printer out there that's got wax transfer and thermal imaging on it uh, where the uh, the price of that printer is going to be in the thousands of dollars so just like the uh, android uh, android device itself the barcode printing can be inexpensive or it can be really expensive depending on what your requirements are. If you need to maintain compliance on barcode um, 
being able to read it, uh, say a couple of years down the line, uh, well, then you have to invest a little bit more into the device that's going to be printing that barcode out because thermal transfer, as soon as it sits in the sunlight for more than a couple of hours, it will turn brown on you. Uh, so it it depends on your environment and it depends on what you're going to be expecting out of a lifespan of a barcode. All right. So if you would like some further information on ERP Anywhere, please feel free to email us to uh, to, to talk. Uh, my email address is listed right here, although most of you already know my email address. So I'd be happy to talk with you more about this. Uh, thank you very much for your time today, and we uh, are looking forward to our next webinar on November the 16th, where we can talk about more of the applications that are available in ERP Anywhere. And as a side note, uh, we are going to be exhibiting at the WMS show in Toronto on November 2nd to 4th. Our booth number is 1401. And... Um, I'd be happy uh, to, to meet with you, talk some more about your Ceradex, and also talk to you a little bit more about ERP Anywhere. Um, thank you very much for your uh, attention today. And uh, as I said, look out for an email for with both the invite and also with a link to this recording um, on YouTube. Thanks, John. Thanks, everybody. All right. Thank you very much. And um, have yourselves a great day.